Mike, Scotty, Pip, Scotty, Pip, Steve, Dennis, Tony Kukoc, Phil Jackson, Triangle, Benny the Bull, Benny the Bull. You gotta think for me, growing up, growing up, we, me and my friends, we you know, snuck, snuck in the United Center, you know. You just, Hey, hold the, hold, the, hold the door open, you know, sit back there, be up there where the fucking light bulbs is, you know? So like, you know, my games are very different. You know, I'm seeing Michael Jordan, he's this small in person, you know, looking down at the, you know, so uh, yeah, back then for sure. You know, grandma had the TV on the porch, Bulls winning championships. Yeah, it was a vibe, yeah. I'm a winner. And when I mean winner, not, not just basketball in life. I grew up at Cabrini Greens. They knocked the buildings down around here. You know, I grew up, you know, family grew up in the Greens. My, you know, my, my grandmother, you know, she grew up in the inner west side. I survived from Marshall High School, one of the worst high schools during that time, probably ever. Europe, injuries, you know, I'm a winner in life. I was in my office one day and a, and a young lady approached me with this kid and the young lady was Lisa Beverly, Patrick Beverly Moms. Very little freshman ball, very little sophomore ball, no name at all. And, and she asked me, you know, I really want to trust you with my son. But I watched this kid just shoot, 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 shoot. He didn't take a break. The kid was special. And I sat down and I just asked him, you know, what you want to do in life? The only thing I want to do is, is play in the NBA. You know, I remember when I was helping Derrick Rose with his autobiography, he mentions Patrick Beverly. Oh, he was tough. He was a hooper, man. He was a, and you know, because you know, Derrick only knew the neighborhood too. And here's a guy who's going to get himself out of his environment, raise above his level to reach greatness, to reach an NBA career. Obviously, you knew who Derrick Rose was, and that Marshall and Simeon had some classic battles in that IHSA state tournament. Anyone who comes from some of the areas that these guys are coming from has a powerful story, and there's mutual respect there. Oh, man, we were, you gotta think, man, D. Rose. We, like, I don't know, they use the term twin now. I mean, I have, you know, years ago, I have an argument with my girl, D. Rose, man. I'm pissed off, man, I'm losing my mind. Come stay at my house. Pat, I have an argument with my girl, that D-Rose, come stay at my house, you know? So it's not even like, it's more than a brotherhood. The kids, you know, you first find out how to dunk, you know, everyone's dunking, he's over there not wanting to dunk, being shy. My mom's like, hey, Pooh, go dunk. You know, I'm okay, you know, like that, you know, like that you, you really can't put it like a finger on, but like, you know, me and him, we're tied in for life. He did some special things here, some really special things here, and, you know, for me to come here and kind of, you know, try to do the same thing, excited. What's up, people? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Hey, see what up, gang? How are you, bro? Hey, hey, get out of here! You get out of here! What are you talking about? What's up, brother? What's up, brother? Good to see you. I'm great. Everything good? You look better in Chicago. Shit, I'm about that. You look real good. It's my guy. What's up, boys? What's up, guy? What up, guy? You all right? Yeah. Pat. What's up? What up, you, dude? You all right? Javante, what up, boy? Good, you good, good? gang? Yes, Pat. Sir. Pat, what up, gang? What up? See you, my boy. Yeah. Okay, cool. Pat. That's all the place I need to go. Yep. I don't need to go nowhere else. I mean, the weather kind of made it. Okay, I'm home now, <laughs> you know, when I got off the plane, but uh, I miss a vibe here. The way I play, you know, I run through a wall for anything I play. Just now, it's even more, I, it's, the, it's, it's the city where I'm from, so. You know, I don't know what might happen. You know, I might pull, pull some out I ain't never did before, so. Uh. But you popping, so it don't matter if you late or early. Cause you gonna be popping, so the big gotta make a decision. Yeah. Pocket gonna be right here though. Obviously, hometown story was a major factor. Family, friends, was like my third factor. Billy Donovan, Zach Levine, DeMar DeRozan, my first factors. Very good relationships, but the players, Always respected Billy D since a freshman in college going against him in Florida. Playoffs against Houston, our pass cross, I always had a lot of respect and admiration for the way he played the game and the way he competed. He's a very, very detailed man. I appreciate that. Details are important. And uh, my relationship I have with Zach and uh, DeMar, um, no better situation. I always try to get back here at least a year or two ago. I've been texting them. 
He's somebody you, you hate to play against, but love as a teammate. You know what he brings, the type of mentality he brings. And a lot of people wouldn't know this, but you know, me and DeMar, we've been knowing each other since my freshman year in, in, in college. I was thinking about coming out. I worked out in LA. He was working out, I think he was in high school then. He was working out in Santa Monica, and we kind of like just vibed since then. Kept track of each other. Went to some of the similar basketball camps in college. And uh, you know, I'm 34 years old, I don't know. 13 years later, you get a chance to play with him. Exciting. From Chicago, a 6-2 guard, number 21, Patrick Beverly. They call him 94 feet. His energy level is indescribable. I have never in my life seen a kid play as hard as this kid, never. Latar Hill, a little out of control. Oh! Patrick Beverly. His first points as a ball come in exciting fashion, a chance at three. You know, when he's on the other side, he's always going to be barking and loudly, being a pesky, annoying defender, getting in your grill. But when you've got that on your side, it not only energizes your team, but it energizes the fans, everything around Patrick Beverly. Get the crowd into it. Oh, I like oh, Patrick Beverly. Look at Beverly. I mean, for what this team needs, toughness and grit. How comfortable did it feel being out there with these new teammates? How natural. Yeah, um, just playing basketball. Yeah, it's good right? basketball. You know, just you defend it well. You're able to get early offense. You don't have to run a lot of half-court offense. And the first unit was great. Second unit was great. The reserves, you know, rookies, they were great. Everything was great. We're going to enjoy this win tonight. We deserve it. Just another day in the office. That's it. Another day in the office. Does it feel like a new vibe with yes. a new starter in here? Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, you know he, he, bring, he brings energy each and every day. And, you know, I think I think that's exactly what we needed coming into this next half of the season. Veteran guy, been in the league a long time. Played with some great Hall of Fame players. He's been in some of the biggest games, you know, so it's not surprising at all. I, mean, I didn't come here to to tank. I didn't come here to, uh, I don't know, get a draft pick. I didn't, I don't, you know, that's not in my DNA. That's not my persona. That's not, you know, what I'm made of. It's impact winning at, uh, at all levels, whether if it's a big shot, a big free throw, a charge, a block, a rebound. Rejected by Beverly. Whatever the fuck it is, it's the impact winning. It's uplifting, it's inspiring, it's good, it's positive. If he's getting on players at all, it's lifting him up. And he impacts the game in so, so many other ways. Of vocal, energy, um, talking, effort. Whatever I ask Patrick Beverly to do, it's done on that basketball court. Patrick in his senior year was the leading scorer in the state. You know, at one time, like eight games in a row, Patrick scored 40 or more points. And we're talking about the gifts to Simeon, the, the Cranes, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I love this boy. <laughs> man, what you trying to do out there, boy? Win game. I know, man. Talking about a kid coming up in, in Chicago without a father figure, you know, he's part of the reason why, you know, why I am today. Hey, man, I love this boy. I don't even have no words. You know, he instilled a ton of confidence in me at a young age that never wavered. You know, we took Chicago by a wave, and it was fun. We won a ton of games, man. We won a ton of games. Good times back then. You know, people always second-guessed him. He know what it takes to stay in the league. Because it's different when you go to the NBA. You know, how many two-sided players you have in the NBA? Not very many. You know, especially in the NBA, you don't need five scores. You just don't. Swings it out in front of Levine with five of the clock. Levine to the rim. Levine with a finish with the right hand. You know, if you can get two, maybe three good scores, and then get some complimentary players, you know, like the like the Bulls had, you know, Dennis Rodman, you know what I'm saying, did all the dirty work, you know what I'm saying? Go, go, let it go. Good job, Kobe. Good job, Kobe. People ask me a lot of times, they'll say, you know, what, what was the 80s like in basketball, a physical nature? Patrick Beverly is the 80s. He's not friends with other guys. At the end of the game, he's not busy running around looking to hug people. He's really angry at the guy on the other side. He wants to beat him. He's pissed off that they didn't beat him. He's his team's guy. He sticks with his team. He's about his team. And that's what the 80s was about. For, for Zach, his ability to continue to, to progress and get better always adds something. Offensive rebound Beverly inside Levine. On a reverse up and good. Just when it seems like, oh my, he's peaked, he's at something else. 40 piece. Talk about a guy, Damar, he's been in the league, I don't know, 11 plus, 12 plus years. Or...
might be having his best year this year, you know? Like, you know, you think about Vooch, Orlando Vooch, you know, and that hasn't changed. He's found a way to get better. So uh, those guys' ability to, to get better throughout their career, the older they get, and uh, that takes a lot of hard work, a lot of hours in the gym, and I respect that. We rather the storm. You know, win is a win, no matter how ugly it is. Got DeMar the ball where he needed it. Zach got the ball where he needed it. And they responded, they played well, they made some big plays at the end. Obviously, you want to play a perfect game, but uh, at the end of the day, a win is a win. I'm proud of him. Patrick is an inner city basketball player that was brought up on the west side of Chicago. A lot of us don't make it, make it out. You know what I'm saying? How can anybody not like this kid? You're talking about a kid that come from nowhere and being raised only by his mom. You know what I'm saying? You know, these kids just want to get off the west side of Chicago and whatever it, whatever it takes. Hey Bulls fans, thanks for watching. For more, click here.